presidents, more kings, and more world leaders than any man alive. And I am current, uh, interested to get his take on our current state of geopolitical affairs. Larry's kicking off the third season of Larry King Now. You can watch it online Monday through Thursday at Aura.TV and Hulu. And uh, Larry also hosts a weekly show, Politicking, with new episodes available every Thursday on Aura.TV and Hulu.com as well. Just search Larry King. And uh, welcome back to the Bob Rivers Show in Seattle. Larry, how you doing today? Robert, I am doing well. I hear that you're hanging it up, huh? Well, I'm not hanging it up like you. I'm just going to uh, do other projects. But you're leaving the radio. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not leaving the radio. I'm just not going to be on it. Yes, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> don't let him go. Get him. No, I don't understand. That's, what, are you, what are you playing, the game with me? No, no, no. You're, I, not, I, you're not leaving. You're just not going to. What are you going to do, sell radios? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm stepping. I've been doing uh, Larry like you. I, 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 in fact, how long did you do the Larry King show on the radio? Uh, the one I used to listen to actually when I was very. I did that from 1978 to uh, 1996, uh, almost uh, 88, about 19, 20 years. Yeah. I did CNN 25 years. I've been in the business 57 years. Well, you got me beat on that last one. I've been doing this morning show for 25 years. I've been on mornings for 33, and I've been on the radio really since I was six years old, but I'm only going to count when I started getting paid 42 years. So I, I'm sure I'm going to do something, uh, and I'm sure it's going to be exciting. But why now, Bob? Why now? Why now have you made this break? Larry, you with the hard-hitting interview questions. <laughs> uh, because I'm, I, I'm, I'm inundated with lots of cool projects that really get me very excited. Or should I say they're pushing me out? Is it broadcast-related projects? Uh, yes, some of them. Are, some of them are, and some are music. Uh, I'm playing the the piano uh, I, and I keyboard. Wish you, yeah. I wish you nothing but the best, Bob. You are a fixture in uh, in Seattle, one of my favorite cities, and uh, I, I wish you nothing but the best. All right. So Larry's going to stop the, the hard-hitting interview questions. I got to ask you some, <laughs> Larry. Uh, how are Go you, ahead. dude? I love you, man. I have loved you for years. Thank you. And really enjoyed, first off, I enjoyed, and I said this before, I enjoyed how you treated your guests with respect and got them to share and say more uh, because of it and, uh, and did a, a classy, classy interview program your whole career. Thank you. And the answer was the respect works. Mm. Uh, and a lot of people in broadcasting don't, don't realize that. When you treat someone with respect, you'll learn a lot more. You do. Because you make them comfortable. If someone comfortable, they let their guard down. They let their guard down, they reveal more. It's so logical to me. When you put someone on the defensive, the least way to learn anything is to put someone on defensive because you make them hostile. When they're hostile, they get guarded. When they're guarded, you don't learn. Right. It's just simple to me. So why, why do you think that our cable channels these days got into that? Is it because in the short term, it, it, like a traffic accident, people stop and watch? Right. That's right. Yeah. You stop and watch and watch all the screamers and the yellers. And after a while, it becomes uh, they preach to the choir. So I tend to avoid. Uh, there's not a regular. I listen to sports talk and I follow sports because I'm a crazy sports fan. Mm -hmm. And I watch my political shows on television, like Sunday morning, which is still civilized. But a lot of the other stuff that I see on uh, the, these Fox or MSNBC, yeah. uh, all they're doing is preaching to the choir. I don't learn anything. Uh, they're yelling. Uh, they often are tell they mistruth. Uh, it's so I that loses me. Larry, uh, you mentioned sports. You're, you've always been a, a fan, and uh, you and I first met when I did the Orioles Radio Marathon. I was on the air for 258 and a half hours, and you had me on your program with Joe Garagiola and Bob Costas. And that's when I—that's uh, when you were—you introduced me as like some. You, you made a big deal out of it, and, it, and it, it still affects me to this day. Today in sports, we have uh, we have a uh, owner of the L.A. Clippers who doesn't want to sell his team, and we have the NBA, uh, all of these other owners, we'll call them rich white guys if we want, uh, but, but, but all of these other owners who are uh, basically going to take control and sell the team to 
Steve Ballmer for near as I can tell twice what it's actually worth. So in a weird way, Sterling maybe, gets maybe two and a half times. Yeah, that team is probably worth six hundred million. He's paying two billion. Uh, uh, definitely, uh, Sterling will lose this whole thing. There is one black owner, Michael Jordan, owns Charlotte. Right, of course. Uh, so, uh, but in an odd way, isn't it weird that S- Sterling gets paid an extra one point four billion for his comments? Does anybody see it that way? Yeah, well, yeah, but that's the, that, the, the nature of the thing. He owned the team. Mm. Somebody's got to pay him, and this guy came through. But Sterling don't want it. He wants. I think Donald's a little. Something's wrong with Donald. Right. I, mean, I know him a long time, and uh, was he always like that? Very or is... strange, very strange guy. Mm. And I feel there's a part of me feels sad that he's going out this way. He was never well liked. Uh, the league didn't like him. The citizens of L.A. didn't like him. Although the last three years they've appreciated that he spent money, and he's built one of the better teams in the L.A. Much better team than the Lakers. Much more fun to watch. Got some great ball players. They they wouldn't be surprised if it went to the NBA Finals. And he has this tragic ending, and he walks away with two billion. He'll get a billion, and the wife gets a billion. <laughs> so in a way, so you feel you have mixed. Like you, you're sad. You even have some empathy for the guy. You're sad that he has to go out this way, but you also say, "Eh, he kind of earned it." Right. And as a Clipper fan, and I am a Clipper fan, uh, I'm happy for the franchise. Uh, Doc Rivers is a great coach. And I think they will go on and do very, very well. And he, one thing you will say, he will not be missed. Talk to me about uh, you and how much fun you're having uh, doing these shows. Tell me about, like, how has the game well, changed for you? The biggest kick, I, I get, I'm get. i in a very relaxed setting. I love the Internet. I do a half-hour show. I interview politicians, athletes. I did, just spent an hour with Albert Pujols. Uh, but I also do Bill Richardson. I, I We Don Rickles yesterday. It's uh, it's such a lot of fun, and I'm still in the mix. I got a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Emmys three years ago, and then last week learned I was nominated for another Emmy. The only Internet show to be nominated for an Emmy in the broadcast news category. That's right. Wow. I'm very proud of that, and I'm, I'm enjoying I'm I thought I could retire, and I couldn't. Not so You'll you find, Bob, yeah. if you leave the air, you will miss it. I Oh, everybody tells me that, and I'm sure I will. Uh, but if, can you do this show in your underwear from your living room, I heard? Is that, is that how this goes? No, I, we have a set. It looks like my living room, but it's a set in Glendale. It's a very beautiful set. We have a full stab, about 30 people. We have engineers and producers and bookers. and No, it's a full show. It's, it sounds uh, like partner. another job that you need pants for. My partner is Carlos Slim, the richest man in the world, which is not a bad guy to have. As not a, a bad guy. No, wow. Very cool. Uh, uh, Larry, uh, yeah, I gotta run. Bob. Uh, hey, Larry, let me get let me get the plug on here. It's Hulu.com and Aura.tv. Larry King, all the best, sir. Hey, say to you, Bob, keep punching. All right, bye. He's jumping to another satellite interview.